Everton have been easy pickings this season. Leeds took just the team to take advantage. Especially when an early opening developed for Rod Wallace. But Everton had a new goalkeeper on parade. Thomas Muir, £800,000 from Viking Stavanger, looked like money well spent. Not once, but twice. In Gary Kelly's corner, the ball reached Harry Kuehl, but Muir saved well again. At 24, the Norwegian still has his best years ahead of him. And having locked up that end, Everton then had a golden chance to prize open leads at the other. Nick Barmby, nicked by David Weatherall. Skipper Gary Speed took the kick, but was brilliantly outguessed by Nigel Martin. One point left Everton off the bottom of the table, but it's only the first in six games. So what's been going wrong? I don't know. Maybe we should work a bit harder on the training ground and um, instead of going through the motions a bit and trying to make something happen on a Saturday. Um, if, if, we, if we continue to play like we did today, we've got to show that sort of attitude in training, I think, and, and hopefully then something can go for us. Manchester United to breach the defence on Boxing Day with a 2-0 win at Old Trafford. But the year ended on a good note for Everton with a 3-2 victory over Bolton Wanderers. Kadamateri. Bolton again repel the pressure. Duncan Ferguson rose well there to meet that corner and was unlucky to find a Bolton player in the way. This is Barmby. Ferguson's continued his run up ahead. Thomas. Thomas puts the cross in. Ferguson! Everton ahead! And Duncan Ferguson gives them the lead. The cross in from Tony Thomas. And it was perfectly placed for Duncan Ferguson to head Everton into the lead. Hinchcliffe, good run from Andy Hinchcliffe, out to Barmby, Ferguson, 2-0, Duncan Ferguson with his second of the game and his second header of the match, Barmby in space on the left, it was a low cross and Ferguson stretched forward to head it past Ward. Sellers with the free kick then. Bolton need to get back into this match. And they have done! Goodney Bergson with the looping header. Shot comes in! Scott Sellers! The equaliser for Bolton! Thomas gets it back. It's a high handing cross. And Ferguson! A hat-trick for Duncan Ferguson. No wonder he's delighted. And Everton regain the lead. Thomas's cross caused all sorts of problems. It was just the right height hanging in the air. And Ferguson, the ideal man in that situation, on the end of it. His third goal, Everton's third goal. Andy Hinchcliffe has come across to take this free kick. Barmby sliding in, just at the far post. Long ball in, looking for Ferguson, is this number four? Well, it's well wide from Duncan Ferguson. Barmby. Hitchcliffe. And again, Everton nearly... It took Everton a year to win away from home in the Premiership. Now it's two wins inside a month. At Selhurst Park, they started briskly, with Craig Short powering his way upfield. Duncan Ferguson supplied the neatest of dummies, and Nick Barmby ended a three-month goal drought. Eleven minutes gone, and Everton kept up the pressure. Palace failed to clear this attack, and they paid the penalty. Tony Thomas with the cross from the right, meat and drink to Big Duncan Ferguson.
Palace haven't won at home in the Premiership all season, but they saw a glimmer of hope when Brolin fed Dyer, who was felled by Slaven Bilic in the box. Dyer took the penalty himself, and suddenly Palace had hope. But Everton had other ideas, wrapping the game up inside the first half. Tony Grant with the cross, Frenchman Mikhail Madar scoring on his debut, over and out for Palace. I think that it was a dream start for us, and I thought that um, Madar and Ferguson and Barmby come down very well, and all three deserved their goals. I thought the, uh, it's early days in terms of getting excited about a partnership, but it was, uh, it was very encouraging today. Yeah, it's always nice to score for yourself, but, you know, if the team's winning, then, you know, I'm not really concerned who scores, but, you know, I've, I've been keep getting in there the past couple of games, and, uh, you know, I was pleased to, to score today.